welcome back students uh, we have taken one class on alternative english of the chapter uh, the sweeter and papa this is the second lecture of this chapter as we have got in this chapter the sweeter and papa there is a person the sweeter the sweeter is pyotr petrovich milkin and the papa is the power is the father of nashia mr kondrashkin what we have got that uh, this father nashia's father he was willing to give i mean so we, uh, he was very willing to get his daughter married with pyotr where we have found that pyotr was actually not willing to marry uh, nashia everyone was very happy for him because mr kondrashkin the father of nashia he was having seven daughters nashia there were seven sisters and people were happy for him because one at least to one of his daughter he could able to get married and we have found it was a, it's a very interesting uh, story we have found how this father was convincing pyotr to get married with his daughter and every time every time this um, pyotr milkin mr milkin he was refusing uh, the proposal what he was telling that uh, i was there I, I, we have found in the last class he was there with the, with the kondrashkin's family he was uh, taking uh, food he was there in the he was uh, taking uh, breakfast some uh, supper every day he was there with the family he walked hand in hand with uh, nashia and uh, the, uh, all these things actually gave them hope that he was going to marry nashia uh, which he uh, later which he refused he said that uh, yes i did all these things but uh, that doesn't mean that i am going to marry uh, nashia i am not going to marry her i didn't give, i didn't encourage any hope i didn't give any hope why did you think such way so what we have found what uh, he gave what he said that uh, he also say he said that uh, nashia he, she was a very young good lady she is very nice according to pyotr she is very nice she was very nice uh, he would not able to um, get he is not going to get better wife than her but uh, uh, he was very sorry because he was not going to marry her because they uh, they don't share the same views and conving, uh, convictions yes that was the what uh, that was a thing what we have found in the last class can you able to re remember it i i hope so i told her to go through the chapter how many of you had gone through i don't know i'll tell you again and again to go through the chapter and get a better idea of it so uh, coming back again to the story for coming back again from the last day uh, la the last day pyotr said that they don't share the same views and for so he could not able to he cannot able to marry nashia yes mr kondrashkin the father of nashia she said all right he, uh, sorry he said all right this uh, after you got married after few days when you will be uh, living together when you will be st staying together all these things will run very smooth it will be very smooth all the all the things will run smoothly then again pyotr rebuked what he said sorry sir wait i am not worthy of anastasia we i am not worthy of nashia i am not worthy of your daughter i am an unworthy man i am an i am not as worth as your daughter she deserves better than me she deserves better than me i am not worth to her and so i don't want to get her married she is a very nice uh, she is a very nice young lady i don't want to uh, i don't want her to live a miserable life if she comes with me she will be uh, she'll be leading a very miserable life i don't want so because i am very unworthy what he said uh, mr uh, 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 mr kondrashkin what rubbish are you telling wonderful uh, wonderful gentleman what are you telling what rubbish you are a good young gentleman and you withdraw a good amount of salary you are having a very good job you are well settled you are getting a very good salary and what you are telling you are unworthy of my daughter she deserves better no no 
don't worry about that you don't worry you are very fine young gentleman and i am very glad to make you my son in law then he said just a minute sir you don't know the actual me i i drink i am a drunkard and i go to drinking bouts i have a hereditary vice i have a hereditary vice of of going to uh, um, uh, drinking bouts what is telling i am not only unworthy sir i also drink i am a drunkard and i have a hereditary vice all my family members from uh, uh, my ancestors all all of them and me too we go to the drinking bars we go in the bar we go um, in a place uh, we um, we make a place and we enjoy drink all together like all the ravish people like all the bad people uh, we gather together and we drink and i don't think that your daughter will like me after knowing all these things your daughter will um, will be your daughter will agree to marry me mr kondrashkin he thought for a while what this young gentleman is telling he is such a young nice person he is such a nice guy and what he is telling he is telling that he drinks he uh, he remained silent for some time he was remain uh, he was in silence for a while then what uh, then he said listen gentleman no no you don't uh look like going to drinking bouts you were so nice you were a so nice person how come you go to drinking bouts bouts and you drink i don't believe it i don't believe that you go to drinking bouts and drink piotr thought that is the person trying to fool me is the person trying trying to get rid of his daughter and so he is i mean and so he is forcing me to marry his daughter he understood the fact then he said listen i don't only go to drinking bouts i am on a trial for embezzlement what he said i am on a trial trial for embezzlement i stole a good amount of money i am a thief and the police or the cops are after me the police are after me they are searching me i am a wanted criminal and you want sir you want your son in law to be a criminal you want your daughter to you want your daughter marry a criminal no 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 sir i am not i told you earlier i am not worthy of your daughter and she deserves better then mr kondrashkin asks oh you are on a trial of uh, for embezzlement acha what will be the amount you have stolen he said A hundred and forty thousand. Just imagine a hundred and forty thousand. He has to what he said. A hundred and forty-four. Oh, sorry, a hundred and forty-four thousand. he stole this huge amount of money and so the police are after him mr kondrashkin said oh that certainly smells of siberia listen siberia a place in russia which is very famous for uh, which is very famous for jails and all this as we will all know that uh, tajpur is very well known for the, the uh, for the people who are insane for the this mad people uh, are were kept in tajpur we know it like this the siberia is the place in russia where uh, this place is very famous uh, for the uh, uh, for the uh, run away convicts for the people who do all the ill activities they are kept there in the jail so uh, Mr. Kondrashkin said, "Oh, that sign, the smells of Siberia. That means you have taken, you have stolen such a great, good amount, such a great amount of money. And now we will be kept under the bar. You will be kept, in, you will be um, inside the bar. And if my daughter marries you, then she have to live a very miserable life. All right." 
Piotr signed relieved. He said, thank God this person had understood finally that I am uh, uh, not going to marry his daughter. He signed relieved. Again, after a very few uh, moments, Mr. Kondrashan got up. He told, by the way, if my daughter Nashia loves you, she can follow you to Siberia. If my daughter loves you, she can follow you to Siberia. Don't worry about that. She, she will be there with you. She, you will be living a very good life. After some days, you will be coming out of the jail. And again, you will be leading a good life. Don't worry about that. Again, Piotr thought such a stubborn brood. He is not trying to able to understand that I am not, he is not, uh, why he, he was, why is so for, uh, forcing me so much to marry his daughter? Why don't he understand that I am not going to marry her? Listen, he said, Mr. Kondrashkin, listen, I am not only a runaway convict, I am also, I, I had also, uh, did something more than embezzlement, something more than stealing money. I am, I had done, uh, I was embezzled for some forgery too. I had copied something, I have uh, signed some government documents, some important documents, I have deceived some signature of others. And for these two, the cops are after me. For this too, I am uh, going, for this too, um, I am, all, I am a, I am a criminal for this too. Mr. Kondrashan said, oh, that's make no difference. That make no difference. Forgery and you have stolen, no, no, nothing will happen. That will be, a, uh, that will be sh sorted. My daughter will follow you to Siberia. Um, after you get bail, after you get bail, then you will be coming up, uh, coming from the uh, jail and you will live a good life. Uh, don't worry about that. Piotr thought, I have to do something or else this man is forcing me so much. I cannot, if I don't do anything right now, this man will be, uh, he will, by, uh, by any means, he will get me marry her, his daughter. He said, listen, Mr. Kondashkin, I have not said you something more. I have a horrible secret. What is the horrible secret? He is telling. I am, uh, this, what is telling? You don't know my actual name. I am someone else. I am someone else and I keep on changing my name so that the police cannot able to uh, catch me so that I don't get caught by the cops. I am a wanted criminal and so I keep on changing my name. My actual, my good name is Krilin, uh, yes, Krilin Tomjevich. What is it? My actual name is, my, uh, my actual name is Krilly Tromfish. So, I am a runaway convict. I keep on running away. I came here, I stayed with your uh, family only to get rid of the police, only to get rid of the cops. After hearing this, uh, Mr. Kondraksh was petrified. He was speechless. He was motionless. His eyes full of horror, he collapsed on his armchair and groaned, huh? This, I, what is telling? All this time, I was giving shelter to a snake. I was giving shelter to a person who, um, uh, to a person who is a very, uh, very bad criminal, who is a criminal. I, I was giving the, the space to a criminal. Milking thought, yeah, I have won the victory. Uh, he was rejoicing his big victory. He said, maybe this time I did something. Mr. Kondrashkin, he will not be able to give me his daughter. He'll, he'll, he will be not, he is not willing to get married with his uh, daughter. Sorry, with his daughter. And so he thought he was not going to give his daughter with me. All right. So he, sta he stayed, he stood up. He went near by the door. He was going away. He came here to leave only. So he was going away. What is then? He said, uh, Piotr, wait, Mr. Milkin. Wait, Mr. Milkin. You may live your whole life 
in an alias. You may live your whole life like this. You keep, you will keep on changing your names, and you, and the police uh, might not able to catch you in your life. So it will be good. It's all right. I, I agree. I agree. You got married with my daughter. Piotr again thought. Piotr was broke into the sweat. He was. He said it was. He was thinking it was of no use of talking the deception. He has tried everything. He said the first he said the, their views don't match. Then he said he was a drunkard. Then he said he was on a trial for embezzlement. Then he said he was also he was also a criminal for a forgery. Then what he said that he keeps on changing his name and he is a uh, he, he is a wanted criminal. The police are after me after him and he keeps on changing the names. All these things couldn't. He could, oh, by all these things, he couldn't able to impress Mr. Kondrashkin for not allowing his daughter to marry uh, Pyotr. Then he said again, "Listen, Mr. Kondrashkin, I have not said you something more. There is something more about me which you don't know. I am a madman. I am insane. Finally, what he said, I am insane. I am a madman." And you know, marriages are forbidden for mad and insane. And you know it very well that uh, a mad person cannot able to handle a married life. I am not going to marry. Mr. Kondrashkin said, what are you telling Mr. Gentleman? How come you be a bad man? A mad man cannot talk in, a, in such a fine language. How come you be a mad man? Mad man cannot talk so logically. You cannot be a mad man. Piotr said, I can show you the certificate. I am a madman. I am under treatment. I am under treatment. Mr. Kondrashkin said, listen. Yes, I will. I will believe the certificate, but not you. I will believe if you give me, if you show me the certificate that you are, I will believe if you show me the medical certificate that you are medical, you are un mentally unfit. I will not believe you because madman, a mad person cannot talk so logically. You are talking so logically. I cannot believe you. I will believe the uh, certificate. He said, wait. I am taking the certificate within five minutes. Just wait. I am taking the certificate. He, what he did? I oh, sorry. Uh, what uh, he said? Um, I am taking the certificate not in five minutes but half an hour. I am coming back to you in half an hour and I will uh, uh, show you the certificate that I am uh, uh, not mentally fit. He came out finally he could able to convince Mr. Kondrashkin. He came out of the house and he called his uh, five minutes later after coming from the uh, Kondrashkin, after coming from the court, uh, court of Kondrashkin, after coming from the place of Kondrashkin, he called one of his friends. One of his friends who was a doctor, Dr. Fituel, remember that, doctor? Dr. Fituel, he called, he called one of his doctor, one of his uh, friends. Unfortunately, that his doctor, his friend who is a doctor, Dr. Fituel, he was uh, straightening his hair and, and um, after he was straightening his, uh, he was coming and straightening his hair after a stiff with his wife. So unfortunately, when Piotr called one of his doctor, one of his friends, he called his uh, doctor friend to certify him a medical certificate that he is not mentally fit. And unfortunately, at that very time, that his friend, his doctor friend, he was having a very tough time with his wife. He was having a little fight with his, uh, uh, with his wife. A little, uh, he was having an argument with his wife. When he called his friend, what he said? My friend, listen. He called Dr. Fitu and said, my friend, Piotr is telling my friend, I am, uh, please do me a favor. I need a favor from you. I need a favor from, from you and uh, whatever it will cost, I will give you. Please help me. Please give me a certificate. Please sign me a certificate that I am not mentally fit. 
and so that I cannot able to get married. Marriage is forbidden for me. So, Mr. Uh, Dr. Fitwev, he called, so you were trying to uh, do this, you were actually, you have decided, you have decided to play the, uh, to play Helmer's device. What do you mean by Helmer's device? Listen, Shakespeare, William Shakespeare, written, has, William Shakespeare has written a play, Hel, uh, yeah, Hamlet, in that play, Hamlet is the protagonist, Hamlet is the prime character. What he did, he feel insanity. He feel insanity um, to uh, take revenge, to take revenge on Claudius. Claudius is the character of that play who had uh, murdered, uh, who, who had murdered Hamlet's father. So to take revenge, he had feel insanity. He had showed that he is a mad person, he was a mad person, but actually he was not mad. So the same thing here Piotr was also trying to do. He was feeling insanity. He was trying to convince Mr. Kondrashkin by feeling insanity, actually, but actually he was not mad. He was not, um, not mad, but he wanted a certificate that he is a mad person and so he could avoid the marriage. So what I said, my friend, please be a friend and certify me the, uh, certify me the, um, uh, cert and certify, and certify me as insane, certify me as I am a mad person. His doctor, his friend, doctor, he says, so do, you don't want to uh, get married, you don't want to get married. Piotr replied, not for all the tea in China. Piotr replied, no, 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 I don't want to get married. If you, if the whole China is named after me, then too, I am not going to get married. I am not, not going to get married. In that case, I refuse to certify you. His doctors, his friends say, if, if you are, in that case, if you are not willing to get married, I will not certify you the certificate. Why? Why he say, see, Anyone who doesn't want to get married isn't crazy. On the contrary, he is very wise. His friend said that a person who doesn't want to get married is not a mad person actually. He is very wise. What do we have found when uh, uh, Piotr called Fituev, he was having an argument with his wife. He was having a fight with his wife and he knew he was in a very bad position in his married life. So you know it very well what are the pros and cons of getting married. So what he is telling that if you are not willing to get married, then I will not certify you. I will not certify you as insane. I know it very well that if you are not willing to get married, then you are a very wise person. You are a very wise person. A person who wants to get married is actually a mad person. What he is telling? But when you want to get married, that's the time to come to me for a certificate. So what is telling, if you are willing to get married, at that time you come to me, I will certify you as a mad person. Because I know it very well, after getting married, after getting married, a person, a person definitely becomes mad with all the family pressures and all this. So what is telling, then it will be obvious that you have gone stuck and starting mad. So what his friend said, now, I am not going to give you the certificate, he refused to give the certificate and said that if you are not willing to get married, you are not crazy, you are not insane, rather you are wise and I, I will tell you that if you are ever willing to get married, come to me, I will certify you as a mad person. Till then, I am not going to certify you anything. Go and live your life. Now milking again, here, the, here our chapter ends. Milking is in huge pressure now. What can he do now? He had given his words to Mr. Kondrashkin that within half an hour he is coming back with the, the with the certificate of with the, with the with his certificate of insanity. Now how could he able to handle all this thing? How he is going to handle the things? So in this chapter, what we have found that there is a person, Mr. Kondrashkin. The prime character Piotr Petrovich Milkin, then his daughter Nashia, with whom Mr. Kondrashin wants to get married. Why? Because he was having seven daughters and he, won, and he wants to give one of his uh, daughter, he wants to get one of his daughter married. So by any means he wants back, he wants to get, uh, he wants, 
his daughter Nasir to marry Piotr. Here, as Piotr, we have found he has given so many several excuses to avoid the marriage. And Mr. Kondrashkin was stubborn too. Both this Piotr and Mr. Kondrashkin, they were very stubborn person. Mr. Kondrashkin again and again trying to rebuke the case to get married. And time and again, Piotr was refusing his proposal. Both of them were equally stubborn and both of them equally stayed in their words. One wants to get married, the other refusing. He made several excuses. From the very first we have found, he, he said, our views don't match. Then he said he is a drunk, drunkard, he drinks, he goes to uh, drinking boats, he, he is having a hereditary vice. Then what he said, he was not worthy enough and he was on a trial for embezzlement. He had taken, he had stolen a huge um, uh, amount of money, 144,000. Then what he said, he will go to Siberia, he will be in Siberia and his life may end there. He is a runaway conv convict and he keeps on changing his name. He is, then what he said, he was a mad person and marriage is forbidden for an, in the, in, insane people. And then he wants to show the certificate, he wants to get a certificate from, his, from one of his do friends, Dr. Fitwe, whom later we have found the doctor refused him. So we don't know what is going, um, what, uh, we don't know whether Piotr has married later or not. But we have found that he could able to come from the, he will, uh, he could, we have found that he had, he was able to get off Mr. Kondrashkin's office. So we don't know whether he went back or whether he had got, uh, whether he married Russia. Till then, all right, we have finished one chapter here. I hope you have got a little of this chapter. I will tell you time and again to go through the chapter and uh, to go through the chapter for a better uh, learning, for a better un understanding. All right, till then we are fin we are done here. Later we will come up with new more things. Till then, goodbye and thank you.